I realized I haven't recorded some B-rolls. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the outfit that I'm gonna wear later. Professional, right? But actually, it's <laughs> short. <laughs> it's okay, no one can tell. This is a very simple, basic makeup that I do when I go out for a very simple appointments. It's not a night makeup, it's more like a day makeup to perk up your skin and make you look more awake. Today, I would be filming a video for like a reaction video for Tito Dao and obviously I'll have to wear makeup for it, right? Because I look like a ghost without makeup. So I'll record it, but just to let you be aware, I'm no, in any way, a professional makeup artist and pull up words, but I don't really care. I wash my brush each time before makeup. I'm a clean freak. Cushion foundation with me, I have two. This is a shade lighter, this is a shade darker. So the, the darker shade is for like the sides, but the lighter shade is for like the middle of the face, so it makes your face look more, more, more death. It gives your face a lot more death. I'll start with my nose area. I don't dry, I kind of like dab it a bit. I don't think my skin is in very, very extremely good condition today. Moving on, this is my concealer brush. Use a concealer to conceal my Prada bags and Gucci bags. Dior Skin Forever Undercover. <laughs> I did this because beauty bloggers always do that. Recently, there's this whole like bake your makeup situation. Baking is about applying a lot of powder on your skin and leaving it there for quite a while for the powder to soak in. I don't do that because I feel it makes my skin very dry. Covered my bags, primer first before eyeshadow. It enhances the color of the eyeshadow. It's called the Shadow Insurance. I bought it from Sephora. One of the best primers. I used it for Tito down all my events. Moving on, I don't really go for very different colors. Eyeshadow palette from MAC. I got it as a PR gift from them. I'm still using it after six months. I love it. It's all very neutral colors. It's like peachy, brownie, brownie. <laughs> I'll start with a very uh, mid cool brown tone. Apply it over my eyes like so. I don't go over. I kind of like stop somewhere in the middle here. That is just the base. And then I'll use a, another brush in a darker color like this. And then try to fill up the ends here. My mom is gonna kill me if she sees me pulling faces on camera. She'll be like, ah, I feel like to be very honest with you, fingers apply makeup a lot better than brush. Personal opinion. You have more control with fingers. You blend better with fingers because of the warmth from your body. It's actually quite dark. It doesn't look like so on camera though. Why? Can you tell the difference? Is it too much? That's for eyes. I don't do my brows because I have very very full brows. So I'm gonna skip the brows. Move on to my eyeliner. I usually use brown because I feel like brown gives it a more natural tone. I'll do inner eyeliner and outer eyeliner. To do inner eyeliner, you do this. You lift up your eyelid. Looks painful. Ouch. That's the ugliest makeup tutorial ever. I don't know how people like Michelle Fan, they still look very pretty. After the inner eyeliner, outer eyeliner. I don't try to fill the whole thing, I only add some wing at the end. Are you so ugly? I don't use black because black makes me look very fierce, I feel. Because my eyes are already quite big. So brown adds more attention to it. I'm not very good at it. It's always up and down. So I'm going to try. That's it for the eyes. Hula's light. Then uh, bronzer. I do a bit of shading. So it will make my face a bit smaller. It gives your face a bit more definition in front of the camera. I don't shade every day. If I go out to buy groceries or see my friends, I don't do that because it looks weird, I feel. But uh, if you shade it well, you can't tell. Oh, it rhymes. Can you tell? See? See? See, my face looks significantly smaller, right? And also, if you want your neck to be longer, do a little triangle here. And then, blusher, California Dream. It's also from Benefit. Twirl it like so. Tap it off. Don't do this. Do this. Smile. 
because if you do this, it makes your face look not elongated, but if you kind of like pull it to the side, it gives your face a more lifting effect. So you see from the side? Please, I'm not a professional. Then, lipstick. Oh no! Mascara. I still remember when I was young, I think about six or seven, I had to go for auditions for, because my eyelashes are like this, and I look like I'm constantly not awake sometimes. My mum would take an eyelash colour to try to curl my eyelash. She was not very good at it. She accidentally like pinched my eyelids and oh, with the eyelash colour. So beautiful. I cried and she felt so bad and I didn't want her to touch my eye for the next couple of years until I went to high school and I did my own makeup. Speaking of which, if you apply mascara every day and you curl your eyelash every day, Sometimes your eyelash would start falling off, so it's good to invest in a proper eyelash serum. Moving on, I will use a lip balm before I apply lipstick. It's Sugar Caramel Hydrating Lip Balm. This is from Fresh. Aha! Uh -huh. Love this lipstick. Obviously, it has gone wonky. It's from Fenty Beauty. The shade is Freckle Fiesta. I think it looks very good with my current hair. It's like coral orange. I don't apply it like so because the colour distribution is so pigmented so I would dab it with my finger and focus on the inside and then smear it out. The focus would be on my eyes and still on my lips. There you go. Oh, one thing. I wouldn't be too obsessed about keeping the lipstick in my lips. I would let it when I do that. I'll let it like feather out a bit at the side. So it gives an illusion that my lips are a lot fuller. There you go. That's my makeup. Makeup. Okay, no one can see the back, so I'm only doing the front.